There's a sail on the flat. Sail on the flat. That's a pair of slammers, boys. Nice fish. Reeling in the Keys with host Captain George Clark Jr. Hi, and welcome to another exciting episode of Reeling in the Keys where we take you out sport fishing in the sport fishing capital of the world, the Florida Keys, and meet the charter fishing captains who do it each and every day. And today we're going out with a friend of mine, Captain Jack Carlson from Two Kongs Charters. So let's go meet Jack now. Jack! What's up, George? What's going Good on, man? You, man? Good to see you. See Good you. to see you. Absolutely. Captain Jack Carlson, two conks charters here in the Middle Keys. Good buddy of mine forever. High school nemesis, baseball guy. Loves the fish. He's just a fish head like me. And I'll tell you what, got a beautiful day. Finally, this wind died out. And I'm excited because what do you have planned for us today? We're actually going to go target the fish in the Gulf. We're going to hit African Pompano, maybe some Permit, Cobia, <laughs> Grouper, Goliath Grouper. That's it, huh? That's and maybe some big kingfish. Okay, okay. You never know. Well, I'll tell you what. He's got the boat to do it in. I'm super excited. It's slicked out glass calm. We got a fast boat. We got all sorts of weapons on board. Lots of bait. So let's go do it. Well, we just pulled a trap. We got some live baits in there, pinfish. So we got a good start to the day. There we go. All right, hey, we're loaded up, man. Loaded. So we're good to go. Thank you guys for tuning in to Reeling in the Keys. This is a wrap. <laughs> We've got plenty of fish to go fillet. That's right. What's the best way to cook these, Jack? <laughs> Whole fried. That's it. You scale them? Guts That's in. It. Guts in. Adds, bigger adds flavor. Yep. We just got to the spot, just got anchored down, pulled up. As we were looking around the area, Jack pointed out, oh look, there's a whole bunch of permit swimming around us. So there's permit here already, getting baits going down the bottom, and it's gonna happen here in a few minutes. So keep your eyes open and watch what happens. Cobia baits. Cobia, like African Pompano. Gotcha. All these, you know, we've got these for our Goliath groupers out here in the Gulf. You know, we like using our circle hook. And then the way I like to rig these is just tying a simple loop knot. So here we just do an overhand knot like that. Slide it in the eye of the jig. Take the tag in, go through there. And then just cinch it down and one more overhand knot on the main line. And that's all it takes to make a nice loop knot in there. It allows that jig to move around and dance. A little more active. Oh, come on, buddy. What is it, a blue runner? Another runner? What'd you have on there, a shrimp or a bait. Ah, yeah, bait. You ate a grunt. So let's keep everyone. We'll put that one down on this big rod. Here you go. Crack the tail a little bit, slow him down. See if you can't get a Goliath to come up and plow him. What you got? What you got? What you got? He ain't running like a shark, so. Ah, nice a little cobia. Cobia! Cobia. cobia. All right Look on. at that. A little cobia. Oh! He's jumping jumping around. Putting on the show. Oh, make him jump. There you go. Woo! There we go. Love it. Nice. Nice fish. Love it. Absolutely love it. Fish on. Fish day, Not like bad, man. It took a long time too, man, maybe three minutes. <laughs> now, is he keeper size, you no, think, or he's just no, short? No, we'll let that one go. A little short? So what's yeah. the what's the so. proper te technique on letting these guys go? Oh, I, I have a D-hooker. Beautiful. All right. There we go. There we go. Nice. Keyshawn, there you go, that one's fighting a little better. 
Nice. Oh yeah, there you go. A little heavier. Yeah, what's that big? Coming up. Yep, coming yeah, on up. Scoping up. Who knows? There you go. Mm. Yeah, let's clear that path. Nice AP. Is nice it? AP. Nice. Get the net, Grab guys. that net. There you go, George. African. African Pompano in the Florida Bay. Real good AP. Nice. Ooh. That's what we're after. Yep. Nice. Look at the streamers on this yeah. guy. That's a beautiful fish, man. It's like a mirror. It's like catching a mirror underwater. All right, way to go, man. We're gonna need a bigger net. Okay, hold them up for the picture. Look at that. Look at look at the streamers on these. Almost looks like a rooster fish. Beautiful fish. Pretty. I'm gonna get them out here in the sun. Let's get let's get a picture. African pompano, great fish, round body flatfish that fight extremely hard and uh, kind of similar to a rooster fish that you might find, you know, in Costa Rica or something. They got those streamers and they're just beautiful swimming through the water. You just see those streamers moving around. Big mouth, big eyes, almost like somebody dipped this fish in chrome. Look how beautiful that is. Gets such a beautiful sheen on it. And this guy's going to go back. We're going to let him go. There is a huge cooter around here, so I don't want to get my hands bit off. Captain Jack, Florida Keys. Hey, listen, who knows what you're going to catch down here? Well, we've seen Permit, caught African Pompano, caught Cobia, hooked Goliath Grouper, all in the first 20 minutes of fishing on this spot. How can you beat the Florida Keys? Fish on! Oh, oh Georgie! Oh, yeah! Captain George. I'll tell you what. Oh, it does go. not nice. take, it doesn't nice. take but a couple seconds sometimes. <laughs> hey, oh, that's a nice fish. You got the right man on the rod right there. He knows how to dig him out of them holes. <laughs> oh, nah, I think it's a grouper-ish. Yeah. I'd like to see a nice big gag come up, but it, more likely it may be a goliath. Yeah. But that's on our target species of today. There he is. Boom! Mean, come on, George baby! Mean. Ah, uh, Goliath, there he is. Nice, here you go. Can you see that right there? Wow. Good work, man. Nice fish. That hurts your arms. There you go. Light tackle for the Goliaths. Uh, you can see he's been hit by a shark or something. Yeah, he's got an old scar right there. Oh, Look yeah. at that. Hit by a shark right or a prop there. scar. Yep. yep, let's see him there. That's weird, isn't it? Yeah, Maybe he took two oh, bites yeah. on him. Yep, yep. yep. right there. Yep. Definitely. You got Had him in his mouth. Right there. Can you grab him for a minute? Yeah. You want me to take this out right now? Yeah. Okay. Do you yeah. got him? Yeah, I got him. Okay, you got him? Right. Kind of. Ish. Ish. I got him ish. This guy's been hit by a shark here and there and healed up fine. You know? What a fun fighting fish, though. Now I can just let him go, right? I just let him on go. He'll swim right back now. Yep. All right. Beautiful. Nice. Oh, hey, easy now, buddy. Hey, <laughs> giving you a little shower there, George? Leave my fingers alone. <laughs> Leave my fingers alone. Well, Captain Jack Carlson, two conks charters out of the Middle Keys Marathon in Hawks Cay Resort. And uh, Jack, let's talk a minute about your family. Who's oh. this guy? Well, this is my son, Cat Mawson Carlson. He fishes out of Hawks Cay Resort aboard the two conks, too. Now my boat's the two conks, and we got the 31 foot, uh, or the 30, he's got the 33 footer, I got the 36 foot yellowfin with triples. And my dad was a guide here for over 20 years before I even started fishing. So we're definitely a family of fishermen. I have two younger boys that are both gonna grow up in the business. This is just what we do. I'll tell you what, what a great way to, to raise a family and, and do what you love to do. Absolutely, I, don't, I wouldn't trade it for the world. Yep, baby mutton snappers. Yep, little mutton. Yeah, that's a good sign. Isn't that great to yep. see that fishery really doing well? Absolutely. You remember years ago, they were just beat up. You know, the mutton fishery was really, really beat on, and now we're catching them all up and down the keys. Guys yeah. are catching them on the flats. And that's good, because that's been rare. They haven't been on the flats in a very long time. Right, exactly. And whenever you get them on the flats, then you know the fishery's coming back strong. And that was a really sought after fish on the flats oh, back yeah. in the day. 
There he is. There he is. There he is. There he is. On the big rod. Oh, big, big stick. Get him. Get him, Wes. On the big stick. Get him, Wes. There you go. Nice. Good job, Wes. Nice. There you go. <laughs> there you go. It totally looks painful, man. Yeah, man. Oh, look at this one. Wow. Woo! <laughs> oh, yeah. Monster! Ah! We're going to need a bigger boat. Man. He almost gave us a bath. Look at that bucket mouth. Oh, my God. Woo! Look at that thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's a beast. Like you got the bait hanging out, like uh, uh, still quivering. <laughs> Holy crap! Is. See how big he is. All right, there he goes. And back, and down she back goes. Back to the deep. How big was that? That one. He was. 100? Yeah, 80, he was. He was pushing 80, 100. 100. Yeah, okay. pushing 100. Doubled up. Doubled up. Doubled up. Big one on the big rod. Go. What do you got? Another there, one on this rod. An African on that one, or he's swimming yeah. back and forth, yep. so yep. it's swimming around. Yep. Come on over, Jose. Let's. All right, got another Goliath right here. Oh look, there goes our other rig. Yeah. We were just talking about that. Yeah. Yeah. Them eating. Yep. Yep. Remember that one. Hey, we're... get that hook back, man. Right, man. All right. There we go. Got our rig back. Black, 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 black. Yep, yep, nice. Black grouper! Nice. Black grouper in the Gulf. That is awesome. Pretty work. That is awesome. Nice fish there. Look at he was in, in something there. Yeah. Scraped his belly a little bit, scraped himself up here. They go right yep. in the rocks or the yep. wreck. Nice job getting them out though. That's a Thank big fish you. for a spinning rod too, nice you know? Fish right there. Yep. Light tackle black right there. Yeah. Guys. Real solid fish. That nice. one there doesn't get any bigger. He that, won't. That one right there. He won't. Yep. He won't get any bigger. Sandwiches are going to be pretty good. Mike, go ahead. Darn right they will be. George, George, George. Oh, 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 no, don't go over there. Oh, George. Watch out for that wreck. Oh. There you go. There you go, <laughs> follow, follow that fish. You got him. There you go. <laughs> oh, You're man. Fighting there, Jose, on that last one, bud. Ooh, that's a bigger one. Man, Woo! look at that boil. <laughs> that's some power. That's yep. That's <laughs> you got power that right. right there, boy. You got that right. Whoa, nice. look at that. Yeah, Man, what a slob. <laughs> Phenomenal. Yeah, baby. Nice. Watch him tail walk. <laughs> what a pig. That's right. Woo. You want to have fun. That's you do this on this tackle right here, and you'll figure out how I'm tough not. this is. It is. <laughs> Especially when I don't have anything after. funny to say to that. I'm in pain. One they do the stretch. Other. Yep. They stretch your yeah. arms out. Oh yeah. How big? How big, oh, Jack? This one's probably 50 pounds. Nice. Nice fish. You know, you get that. We're using these knocker rigs right here. Yeah. And then nice thing is here too, we got these circle hooks. Yeah, the beautiful yep. thing, you know, get the bite, you feel them pick it up, and all you do is whine, you know? Look at that. Tweak. They're fighters, man. Yeah. They're fighters. Yeah, it's that torque, it's that weight, you know? Well, using that weight against you. It was one of those two as a kid, like when you, I'd be down here, we had a 13 foot Boston Whaler. I was a little 12 year old kid bringing in a 180 pounder into, into a national fisheries in a 13 foot whaler. And those <laughs> as guys, big as the boat, yeah, you were, were sitting yeah. on it. Me and my buddy would come in with it and you know, and back, even back then it was a dollar a pound. Yeah. So when oh, you're 12 yeah. years old and you got a $180 fish, you're like, hmm. Okay. This is a good thing, you know. I'm gonna go buy this yeah. and yeah. yeah, I'm gonna go yeah. do this. Walking around, you know, back then you could just get an SPL for 50 bucks and, and everybody was a commercial fisherman. Yeah. You know, they've tightened that down, but those were the good old days, you know. I had 40 crawfish traps and I was little, I was like, man, I'm definitely not gonna be pulling these up myself. So I just dove them. Right. I just reach in there and grab out my own lobster out of my own right. trap. You know, I'm just like, leave them, leave I'd them go there. down there with a brush, I'd clean it off and next weekend I'd come back out there and. No GPS, I'll just go, okay, here's marker 13, run to it, and I started my line from there. 
right heading out you know so and and what they'll do you know you want to head them north south a lot of times because them turtles oh, fish on. there you go oh, nice 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 man nice, nice mangy whole fried mangrove coming up a little sweet thai chili sauce on them uh-huh i'd invite that one to dinner absolutely <laughs> side of black beans and rice Oh, yellowtail. Jellotail. Jellotails. So what we're going to do here, we're going to tie a uni knot, which is an excellent knot that I like to tie on this heavier mono. We're using a 125 pound mono. Make a few knots, a few loops, tighten it down, and cinch it. Give it a good wrap. Pull tight. Trim that off, and you're ready to go. Nice big circle hook. Wow. Good first run, huh? Yeah, real solid. Real solid. That's the anticipation. That's the exciting part, not knowing. You know, yep, when no. you're fishing spots like this, man, look at all of the diversity. I tell you what, I've been out here before and I've caught 10 different species on one spot. Isn't that great? You know, it's, it's amazing. It really is. And From just when you think fishing you, to top yeah, fishing, you know, yeah. as soon as your bait hits the water, we're or just you let talking it get to about the bottom. King mackerel yeah, being well, out here, you know, big kings and bonitas. And let's just name like what we caught today. We got mutton snapper. Yep. Mangrove snapper, yellowtail snapper. We're it's fighting a big, 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 big fish right now. <laughs> Watch out, guys. I gotta go to the, the boat. We've had kudas come up, eat our fish. We've seen permit. We've caught cobia, African pompano. We got, what others am I missing? Sharkies. <sighs> what, is, what else is there, man? Where else can you do this on one spot in the Florida Right Keys? here in the sport fishing capital of the world. And I'll tell you what, we call it the sport fishing capital of the world because it is, but there's so many good eating fish. You just mentioned the cobia, Absolutely. the snapper species, the grouper species. I mean, this stuff is on every menu yeah. down here in the Keys. It's fresh caught by local fishermen. Right, black grouper yeah. we caught. You know, Austin got a little gag. We've got these jacks, we were fighting a big Goliath. We got now. a big fish on the bow. Yep, Mako's hooked up. Seen it yet? Wes is hooked up. Nice. <laughs> Big a big African pop. Give it a net. All right. Nice. I got you. Get the net. I got you. Get the net. Nice. Woo! Big AP. Good goal, Mako. Way to go, Mako. That's the keeper AP right there, boy. One more circle. Woo! Here we go. That's what I'm talking about. There you go. Nice. Nice fish. Nice, nice. Way to go, team. African Pompano, baby. Woo! Well, look at he's been up back there. Okay. This is out of control. Yeah, yeah, we just had another one swim back there. Talking about right there. Pretty fish. Throw, throwing up. Easy there, buddy. Easy. Nice. Easy. They fight, look amazing, and they eat just as good, man. Way to go. There's always an issue on where to put your lead. So I saw these in the grocery store, and I was like, hmm, I love the containers. So they're nice, they're flat. So when you stick them in here, they actually stack up nice and well. I got six of them in there, the right height. They don't roll around, they stay put. It's the simple things in life that make me happy. Come on, get on. There you go. I'm on. Doubled up. All right. George hooked Woo! up. Wes is hooked up. Yeehaw! Sweet. That's it. Oh, it's a race. Who's going to get it in first? Come on. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah. I think so, man. Last one in cleans the boat. That's it. Without breaking it off. If you break it off, you got to clean my truck, too. Oh, uh, uh, look at that. I got a little defense going here, Wes. Wes, things are looking good for you. Things are looking good for you. Broke them all. Broke them all. Oh, George is cleaning the truck. Too. Damn. Uh, we got our shark on mono, so. It was right there. Well, you said when I had that one on, it said a big AP came right out from one of the birds. Oh, wow. There's a bite. Ah. Uh, Fish on. Shark. 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 Another shark. Shark with big chirp teeth. Ooh, and he said, see ya. 
Well, I want to thank Captain Jack Carlson, Two Kongs Charters here in Marathon, Florida, and the rest of the guys for uh, taking us out, having a great day on the water. And be sure to visit us at TV.com. Check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. I'm your host, Captain George Clark Jr., saying thanks for watching, and tune in next week for another exciting episode of Reeling, Reeling in the Keys. Keys. Looking at the water, he knows exactly where to steer. No internet or Wi Fi tower, all that stress is gone. The lines just went in the water, and somebody yells, Fish on! And it's just another day, reeling in the keys. We got that fishing feeling. There's no place we'd rather be We're a million miles from nowhere We ain't lost at sea There's loving life, living the dream Reeling in the key